do you want to build a product or do you want to build a business? It's only Tuesday and I've had this conversation so many times this week that I was inspired to to sit down and just chat with you about it because I was like, I'm going to make a promise to myself. If I repeat myself more than a couple times with the same story, then I should capture that on video and I consistently have this conversation day in and day out. I think part of that is because Portland, I always refer to as a, as a city of accidental entrepreneurship. It's full of really creative people with amazing ideas and, and people who develop really incredible products. But no matter how creative those products are or how insightful, sometimes they have a hard time making the transition from simply being a product or a hobby into actually becoming a business. Part of this, I think, comes from the challenge that a product in and of itself is not a business. It needs a business to surround it. And that's something that's, that's very hard for people to understand, especially when they're so passionate about a product that they've built. And so the first thing is not everything needs to be a startup. Not everything needs to be a business. You know, there was, there was a time not so long ago where folks had hobbies and they would do something because they were passionate about it or they would make something for themselves because they were passionate about it. It's only in fairly recent history that everything has become a side hustle or a startup. So that, first and foremost, if you're building something that you love, don't feel obligated to make it into a business. That's one aspect. The other aspect is there are very many people who've built a product that they love and they believe in, but they might not have figured out whether there's any market for that product. And so some things we, a question we always asked Pi Startups, and I've asked a bunch of founders about this week, and I've talked to mentors about this this week, is this is the quintessential question. Are you building that product because you're interested in building a business? Or are you building that product because you simply want that product to exist? Because those are two very different things. Now, if you're building a business, if that's your goal, here's the other thing as a founder that you need to recognize. No matter how passionate you are about that product and, and how it inspired you to start your business, as a founder, you need to be willing to kill that inspirational product in order for the business to survive. And if that's not something you're willing to do, if you're not willing to sacrifice a product to save the business, then you might not want to be pursuing a startup in the first place. Because sometimes it comes down to those hard decisions. And unfortunately, that's just kind of the way it is. There's Every once in a while, everybody gets a chance to build a product and a business that, that work in collaboration and, and it's a happy ending and everybody wins, but more often than not, the initial inspirational product changes greatly to satisfy the needs of the business. And, and perhaps worst of all, especially for product people, especially for accidental entrepreneurs, is that that thing, that product, that object, that your creativity and you, you crafted with your own hands, uh, often when you create a business, you no longer get to do that fun part anymore. You no longer get to work on that product anymore because you have to deal with all the other aspects of building a business. 
So the other thing I like to remind people who are craftspeople, who are passionate about creating products, is you need to make a very real decision about whether you want to stop focusing on the product you love so much and focus on the business or the startup as being a founder because that's a very different existence and has very different motivations than creating and crafting a product. So, yeah, that's one of the hard things about startups that, you know, I, I don't hear a lot of people talking about. And it kind of falls into that same realm of, I have a great idea, or I've built this amazing product, but the, the transition to startup to business, the challenge there is, are you building a business or do you simply want a product to exist? And that's a hard question to answer for any founder. <laughs>